Hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Hope you're doing well. So let's say today's problem row with maximum ones. So what the problem is saying is we'll be given a 2D matrix containing only zeros and ones. Okay, where each row is sorted. We want to return the zero based index of the first row that has a maximum number of ones. Return the zero based index of the first row that has the most number of ones. And I don't know why they're repeating again. Okay, if no such row exists, uh, uh, we need to simply return minus one. Okay. So as you, so what the problem is saying is we'll be given 2D matrix and zeros and ones and each row will be sorted. That is the zeros will come first followed by the ones. Okay. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to return the row with the maximum number of ones. Okay. And it is going to be zero based. For example, what is zero based index zero? The index will start with zero, zero, one, two, three. So if you see here, this row contains a maximum number of ones, right? So we want to return the three, we want to return three. Okay, so that's what the problem is saying is, okay, so how can we solve this problem? So first let's see the brute force approach. Simply what we can do is we can have two for loops. One would be for row, okay. Okay, and another would be for column. Okay, so for each row, we will iterate through all the columns, right? And we'll count the number of ones. And finally, the, the row with maximum number of ones, we are going to, so one, one would be for the, one for loop would be for the row and another for loop would be for the columns, right? So simply we'll have a max variable and we'll have two for loops and we'll iterate through each row, right? As I said, okay. And we'll return or capture or record the maximum, the row with the maximum number of ones and return. So what is the time complexity? It is going to be here O of N square or O of N into M. Okay. So let's see if we can optimize this further, right? So what we can do is what we will do basically is we will uh, take advantage of the row being sorted. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll start with the first row. Okay. And we'll start with the last column. Okay, and we'll have a max row variable as well to record the the row with maximum uh, ones. Okay, so we'll start with so we'll start here. Okay, so we will okay, as as this is zero based index, right? Let's write the in, indices as well. Zero, one, two, three, right? So here we found R one here first, right? So what we'll do? We will record the the row with the maximum ones. It is zero currently, right? We'll just record. Okay, then what we'll do? We'll move ahead, right? We'll move like we'll decrement uh, the column pointer. Okay. So here we found again this, right? We found, we found again, uh, yeah, the, the one. So yes, the max row again, it is, it is, uh, uh, it is zero only the same, right? Now we'll decrement our column pointer again, but here we found zero. So what we'll do for this particular row, we'll stop here and we'll go down. We'll go down. Okay. We'll go down. Okay. So again, we found zero here for the next row. So again, Definitely this row cannot contain more ones than this row, right? At this row at, at the max content can, can contain two, two ones or one ones or one ones, right? But not because at the same position it has zero. Okay. So we, what we'll do, we'll simply increment the row and we'll go here. Okay. Now, yes. Now here at this position, we found one. So what we are going to do, we are going to update the max row. We are going to update the max row. Okay. And we'll update it to two, right? And then we found one year. So we'll have the same row, but we'll decrement a column pointer. We'll decrement a column pointer. Okay. So here again, it is zero. So what we'll do, we will simply, we won't do anything. We'll go to the next row. Okay. So here we found one again. Oh, okay. So we found one year again. So that means we have found a maximum, the row, right? The row basically, which is uh, uh, at least having greater number of ones than the previous row. So we'll update our row here, right? So here again, so there's no, we have exhausted, right? So we'll stop here. Okay. So max, finally max the row with maximum ones, it is three. Okay. So we'll return. So now what is the time complexity it is going to take? It is going to take O of N plus M if you see, right? O of N plus M. So we are not iterating for each row. We are not iterating all the column elements, right? All the column elements. So we are going in this way, as I, as in this fashion, whatever I mentioned. So this is the intuition behind solving the problem. Let's quickly go and code. Before going to the code, I request you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Let's quickly see the Java code first, followed by C++. Also would request you to subscribe to my channel because a lot of effort goes in uh, making such videos. Okay. So what we'll do, first of all, we'll take a, okay. First of all, let's have lengths, right? N equal to add dot length which will give us a row length. Then we have our column length, r dot r of zero, right? We want a column length. So this will give a column length. Okay. Now we'll have, we'll start, as I said, we'll start with the last column, right? And first row, this last column we'll start with, right? In j equal to m minus one, right? And then what we'll do? We'll have our uh, one for loop, right? i equal to zero, i less than n, right? For the row, for the row. This for loop is going to be for the row. Okay. Now, and also we'll, we'll have what? Int max row. 
equal to let's initialize with minus one in case we don't find uh, one in the matrix, right? So we have to return minus one as they've already said, return minus one, right? So let's see. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, we'll start with the last column for the current row. Okay. So what we'll go till what? Till until as we're starting from the last column, right? So we'll go till the max till first uh, uh, zeroth column, right? So J greater than equal to zero and and this, this needs to be R of IJ needs to be one, right? R of RJ needs to be one. So what we are going to do here, if we found one, we are going to capture max row, right? Equal to I. That is, okay, uh, max row that is equal to I, okay? And what we are going to do, we are going to decrement J, right? We are going to decrement J. So this is it, max row. So I have already like, uh, right? So what I'm doing here, I'm starting with the first row, right? I've already explained this. I'm starting with the, let me quickly erase this. Uh, Yes, so I'm starting with what this uh, this first row and last column, right? So that's what we are doing here. J equal to M minus one we are starting, right? And what we are doing is see even though there's two one is for loop and another is while loop that does not mean it is going uh, the time complex will be off n square, right? So how we are approaching is we are not like for each row we are not iterating through all the column elements, right? So we are starting with one here, right? And when we found when we find when we find j equal to one right uh, that column equal to one a row and column equal to one then only we are decrementing j okay once this condition violates we are going to move the to the next row okay i hope you have got this i hope you have got this uh, solution so this is solution let's compile it okay let's submit Okay, the test cases seem to pass. Yes, yes. Uh, thanks for watching. My, I hope you have got the solution. Please, please subscribe to my channel, like the video. Let's quickly see the C++ code as well. So here is a C++ code. Not much difference. We have taken this row size, then column size. Then we are starting with the last column. Then we are having max row minus one, right? And then what we are doing for each row, we are iterating. We are having a for loop. And then what we are doing, we are starting with the last column, starting with the first row, right? If you find one for that particular cell, then we are capturing that uh, max row and we are also decrementing the column for the same row if we found, right? So we'll decrement the column, okay? So if, if we don't, for the next uh, column, if we don't find one, then we are going to break this while loop and we'll move to the next uh, row, okay? I've already explained this. Thanks for watching. I hope you've got the solution. Please, please subscribe to my channel, like the video. Have a happy, healthy and a great day. Thank you so much.